dia kena melakukan terjunan yang pertamanya mata tertinggi ketika ini I started diving when I was 10 and before this I used to swim before I joined diving and one day when there was a coach came for the tryouts then my parents just brought me for the tryouts my hometown is in Ipoh and when I joined diving after three months I was selected to be in the national team and I had to transfer to stay in KL so um, there was a bit of challenge after the world championships in 2019 uh, when me and my partner um, won a bronze, I started to like diving more. It boosts my confidence and ignite my passion for diving after that. I cannot choose like a favourite moment because each Olympic has also has their favourite moment. But I think the most memorable one would be Tokyo Olympics because competing in a pandemic and it's really not easy, slightly different from our other Olympics. Upon arrival, we need to do a COVID test and then after that, we were brought straight to the village. Besides the games village, we only get to go to the pool and back to the village. So this time around, we didn't get to visit the city much. This time around, we also didn't get to have training camp in overseas, so I think this is something like a challenge yeah, before prepared, in the preparation of Olympics. I think the most important thing is to be disciplined. Time management is also very important. The most important factor is to be um, punctual. Each training session, we cannot be late. And also in competition, they will start on time because usually there will be a live broadcast. For me, timekeeping is like keeping everything going on smoothly and being punctual. My main event is uh, 10 meters synchronized with my partner. Usually we will communicate with each other on how we can perfect the dive and to perfect our synchronization as well. We also do some visualizing techniques. We can partner each other better. Injury is pretty common for an athlete, I guess. If there's an injury, we need to do like uh, rehab. We train from Monday to Saturday and our only rest day is on Sunday. So usually Sunday, I will try to go back to my hometown. Um, but because of the pandemic, um, it's already been a year, I have not been able to do so. But thankfully, after Olympics, I get to uh, have a short break and spend time with my family. I think other than sports, education is also important for an athlete. I'm pursuing corporate communication in University Putra Malaysia. I used to study uh, mass communication for my degree. Um, I majored in broadcasting. I think it's interesting outer activities other than just studying alone. After Tokyo Olympics, I plan to start my own diving academy. Actually, I've been planning um, this since uh, from last year. After I retire, I wanted to share my skill and knowledge to uh, the young kids. I will say if you like sports, um, just go ahead, yeah, go ahead and try it. Who knows, um, you can compete in the Olympics next.